So if Brock Purdy is able to play this season, I think Brock Purdy is going to get, get exposed all up and down the field. I did like him in college. I got a chance to saw, saw him live a couple games when he played my team, my, my alma mater. And he was a really, really good college quarterback. So was Tim Tebow. So was Vince Young. So was Jamarcus Russell. So was Ryan Leaf. Now, Brock Purdy has had some success. I'll, I will give him that. What, he won seven straight games in a row? But let's just be honest. Fred Warner and the 49ers Divas carried those teams, and the games they played were kind of like, meh. They, they weren't that good. Let's just be honest. The 49ers are a really, really good team. They are a plug-and-play quarterback system. You could probably get Jamarcus Russell on the 49ers right now, all 400 pounds of that guy, and bada-bing, bada-boom, they might be Super bowl contending team still. But to say Trey Lance is better than Brock Pur Purdy, I think this offseason, this preseason, is going to be telling for both of those, those players. Whoever starts week, week, week one, which a Patriots end zone thinks is going to be Trey Lance, Trey Lance has to win the first three out of the five games. The 49ers have to start three and two if Trey Lance is going to keep his job. If they're a below 500 team going into week five, we're going to see Brock Purdy in there. And then at that point, the verdict will be out on both teams or both play, play players.